Welcome to OilClicker.com. In this tutorial, I'd like to share a, a simpler way to perform an incre incremental data load that I stumbled upon recently. Uh, in my previous video tutorial, I, I showed you how to perform an incremental data load. Uh, so let's go over that first to show you how, what I've done to simplify it. Uh, as you see, you know, this this uh, application has the initial load and we just use it once and then comment it. And for subsequent incremental load, uh, we pull data from the QVD first um, to, and then short that to get the, um, the latest date. Uh, so as you see here after... Uh, loading, I've done resident load and, and uh, I'm picking on uh, the date updated field to, to get the latest date. Uh, and that date is being used to uh, load uh, uh, additional rows from the source uh, to um, perform an incremental data load. And finally, we store that uh, into um, a QED. And that works fine, but recently I found a simpler way to do that, and uh, that not only allowed me to remove this process of loading QVD and sorting it. As you know, it takes some um, resource to do so, uh, but also to simplify overall uh, management of the code. So. Without uh, further uh, ado, let me uh, open that app that I've developed, and I'll walk you through and show you how it works. So the the new one has a function that I'm using from um, okay. So as you see here, it has. Uh, a QVD create time function and essentially this function extracts uh, a string um, at, at the end of the data load and this string contains a date field so it is a string but it has a date stamp on it so every time we create uh, a QVD uh, I'm, I'm going to extract that and then store that into a date field uh, so after initial load still stays the same uh, and you know it's used only if we had to reload everything from scratch but for the incremental load now as you see uh, I'm not reloading QVD and doing sorting instead I'm, I'm loading data straight from the source using uh, the the date field or the variable we updated that that I derived from the the QVD create time function. Uh, so once once the uh, the uh, <clears throat> once the additional rows are fetched, then all I need to do is to concatenate that with the uh, with the existing QVD by using where not exists to, to ensure that I'm not duplicating any rows. Uh, so uh, this is very simple and and powerful and um, I uh, would like to highly recommend this method uh, for, for anyone uh, who'd like to do an incremental road rather than uh, using the technique that I showed in the in the previous tutorial. Uh, I hope you like it. If anyone needs a copy of this, um, please email me and I'll be glad to share the code with you. Thank you. Uh, take care so long. We'll talk to you pretty soon. Bye-bye.